It's quite a precarious time, for sure. Vivian and I have been in music conservatory for a long time, so we're very used to the lifestyle, we're used to the security, uh, the teachers, and the structure. And after you finish, it's kind of like, where do you go from there? How do you find your own path and your voice? What kind of career are you looking for? Once we come out of this little warm nest, we expect to be up there on the biggest stages of the world. But it doesn't happen like this, unless you are lucky, you have a stroke of luck. There's so much on offer to the concert halls. There are so many talented young people out there. In the Concert Cabal, we really have the pick worldwide of all that talent. The competition is very, very intense. There are so many good pianists. There are so many concerts going on around the world. So many platforms. Really, it is a bit like winning the lottery. Some of them do make it and they just, you know, slide into the musical life, which is fantastic. But some of them, really exceptional ones, talented ones, had less luck to meet the right people, to be on the right places. So what happens is that they are left somehow, you know, helpless in a way because they don't know what to do. So that's a problem. This was really on my mind for a long time and it happened that I met Hanki Branschma some time ago and uh, she just uh, made this miracle with this hall. As a foundation working with uh, music and music students and professionals, we wanted to create a little concert hall. My aim was constantly I have to work for the children and I have to work for the students. I have to find out something to be able to help them. And then I met Nino. And we talked about this problem and uh, we decided that making a festival that would nurture this, this talented pianist and help them on their way would be the best we can do at the moment. In principle, we had four um, master pianists who gave their recitals in the evening. We had six students uh, selected by Nino Kvitace. We pick really highest level of playing and students. They come and they play the lunch concerts, and the lunch concerts are attended by honorary guests. That means that you know there are people from the concert hall, the record label, uh, management, production team, so they come specially for our students to listen to them. At the Concert about we're looking for the top quality, but you also have to have a story that you can tell to the promoter, to the public, about why the music is important for you, what's your voice, what can you tell us that's different from all the other interpretations of this music. So we asked the students during their lunch concerts, please present yourself as you want to go out there in the world. It puts you in the position of having to talk to someone uh, like them, to, to explain what are you up to. It's just about um, distilling what it is that uh, you're really passionate about and finding ways uh, to bring that to audiences. So th these things take a lot of time and take a lot of thought. And only when you're put there to explain in front of someone who's asking you, who's actually important, that you feel that you need to give your best impression, right? We had interviews with the honorary guests, so the students did meet people who are very important for them for the future. I think we all try to understand what is that the industry wants from us. The person who makes the decisions, makes decisions based on something, some criteria. And you want to understand that criteria because you want to be part of the circle. Some students have problems um, going out there and finding the right people because they don't have the feeling for public relations. They don't have the nerve, whilst others have really the nerve but lack a bit of fine politeness to go out there and meet the right people. It reminds you the importance of personal contact. 
And when you get to know someone, you will know exactly what are they looking for. What is really special on this festival is uh, this is a small setting, a beautiful concert hall with a very beautiful instrument. And uh, we have master pianists here playing in the evening. And the students can really meet them and hear them so closely and talk to them. And then you get a completely different side of this conversation. I think it's really nice for us also to see someone who plays really well does the job perfectly and has really something interesting to share, but that in a way we can relate to. It's like a person that you can relate, that you can see yourself in some time, some years, and being at, at the same stage. It makes you really want to push and, and go to this level, you know, because it's something that sounds realistic. You can actually play like this. When we're um, spoken to about careers and professional lives, it all becomes very extra musical and we find it hard to um, draw connections between what we're doing with the piano and the professional life and that can seem very daunting. But what this festival has managed to do is marry those two elements. To really encourage us and tell us that yes, there are people out there who will enjoy what we're doing. This festival is about uh, building bridges and making connections between the young talent and the master pianists and to help the young pianists become independent and discover themselves in the musical life. Attending this festival is coming at a perfect time because it aims to help us make that transition and be better equipped uh, for the professional musical world. Will you tomorrow have a better career because of this festival? I'm not sure, but, but you have the possibility and you're in a better position already just because of being here. I think the basis is very good. The basis is what we wanted and uh, this will be the basis of the structure that the festival will be built on. This was a good idea. I really think there are many more students who want to come and uh, solicit for a place in the festival, so we, we have to go on. The mission to help graduating students who are at this kind of unknown and confusing uh, state yeah, it's really important and we definitely need a festival like this.